Hi everyone! So today we are building a solar dehydrator. Uh, I have a dehydrator, like we never got rid of it, but with our solar setup, unfortunately we're unable to run a dehydrator for such a long period of time that draws so much energy. And that's okay because we have the power of the sun! Where are you sun? <laughs> so um, we're gonna do a solar dehydrator. Why not? The solar oven, so I have a solar oven, I've done videos on that, but our solar oven will technically dehydrate and I've done a video dehydrating, but it doesn't have a lot of ventilation and dehydrators need ventilation. And they need airflow rather, not ventilation, airflow. So even though the solar oven can do it, it um, we're building an actual solar uh, dehydrator that has good airflow and it's a lot bigger, so I can do a lot more at a time, right? So um, I'm pretty, I'm very excited to see how this is gonna work. Okay, so here's the box. It has some legs, and um, I don't think it's too heavy. I'm gonna have to move it. I should be able to just kind of get behind it and like, you know, adjust when I need to adjust, but you know, to face the sun. Uh, but right now I'm using spray paint. You wanna use Really, any spray paint is fine. I'm gonna let this sit for several days after it's spray painted to let the spray dissipate. But, so here's the, the shelving for the trays that are gonna go across, and this should hold quite a bit of dehydrated food. Whew, spray painting, it's tough work. <laughs> anyway, so you wanna spray paint the inside as dark as humanly possible. You just want paint, the, you know, lead-free paint. And, you know, I mean, most paint these days, spray paint and stuff, that comes lead-free. But you just make sure, I think after several days of letting this dry and letting the trays and everything, you know, the fumes and everything dissipate, it should be all right. But the biggest point is you want to have, you know, the box as dark as possible and then the vents um, down, uh, up, and below for that airflow. And then we're gonna let, we're gonna paint the outside as well, just in case it ever does rain on it or anything. So the next processes and the steps are, all right, the solar dehydrator is done. Look at this beast. Look at it. I, here's a size reference. It's almost my height. <laughs> flat to the ground with it. It's, it's pretty beastly. <laughs> uh, but uh, so this is not plexiglass. The, the actual instructions say plexiglass, but so husband did some research and, and said that the, the um, painter's plastic does just fine. So we just have to be aware of ripping and anything like that. You know, it's a, <laughs> it's a little gentle. So what, what we're gonna do is actually take this off and uh, we're gonna let the paint like fume out for a few days, but uh, the screens are on here. These are, this is the screen. And so it's a lot of airflow. It's the airflow from here, and from down there, and it comes up through the screens. So that's really nice. Um, it's a really, it is huge. Um, I'm really excited to get out, but we're gonna let it sit like this for a few days and just let the paint fumes kind of, just, you know, seep out. And uh, we'll see about painting the outside as well. That definitely needs to be done to protect the wood. So yeah, it's it looks great. I I don't know. Like I saw this design online. I was like, this is what I want. And then you see it in person and it, it's a beast. I mean, it's definitely gonna dehydrate all the things. <laughs> so I'm very excited. So I will make another video in a few days. I have some mesquite uh beans here that i need to dry so i'm going to put them in the dehydrator that'll be my first task and um yeah so in a few days i'll come back and do another video and show you the success because it will be a success i don't see any reason why this wouldn't work um so yeah 
Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll put a link down below to where I originally found this and the plans and things that go along with this in case you want to make your own. Use the power of the sun. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Come tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all later. Bye.